really the heart of Carroll County. And we'll go back up and do another track on it that again, moving to eat, uh, moving off to the southeast east southeast at about 20 and so yeah it is actually it's been interesting to watch at times it looks like it's diving southeast and then at times it looks like it wants to drift off to the east so we just want to make sure that southeast east of this storm you just need to stay with us and, and really be in the safest part of your home and that's going to be anywhere from Deer Creek south to Burlington at this point as it gets ready to cross State Road 29 here in about mm, five ten minutes or so at, at the most um, it is the only storm that, that we're watching, and while we're here, we'll kind of go street level and monitor the, um, the velocities, and that's our, the, the easiest way for us to show you that it has rotation. And it, again, it's red and green close together. Let's come out just a little bit and slide off to the south. There, there's the tornado warning, and let's go south there. And right now it is over State Road 18, just sinking just a bit south of State Road 18, and now just, you know, a, a few blocks away, maybe a, mile, a couple miles away from that intersection of State Road 18 and State Road 29. So Wheeling, Sharon, Carrollton, Burlington, it is quickly moving your way, as you can see with the latest radar update, and we still have that area of red and green close together. We also monitor our shear detector, and. Easiest thing for you to do on this map is look for the area of green, and that is a right again right over State Road 18, and more so headed east versus southeast. So we've been mentioning you Wheeling, Sharon, Carrollton, uh, even Burlington, and these areas are long State Road 29 are technically not under the tornado warning that goes until 630, but we want to make sure that you are aware that this rotating storm that, as Sean showed us a couple of pictures, uh, looked to produce um, a land spout or a tornado of, of some sort. Right now we're not getting any reports of damage from the National Weather Service, but this one is tracking off to the east, uh, east southeast, Wheeling, Sharon, uh, Carrollton, and Burlington. You will be next. That honestly is the only storm that we have on radar at this point, but not to say that we won't get any additional storms because we're in that in environment. Sean mentioned the boundary. Basically, it's, a, it's a, a warm front, and we've got this little area of low pressure coming through, and that area of low pressure really supports changing winds as you go up in the atmosphere, and really that's just enough spin that we need to, to get a couple of rotating thunderstorms. And, and this is one we've been keeping an eye on for about the last hour. Um, and about almost hour and a half now uh, as it developed in uh, in White County. It's now over Carroll County and then where where it goes next is going to be into Howard County, Western Howard County. So we want to make sure you're aware. Rucheville, Kokomo, Galveston uh, we will keep an eye very closely on what this cell decides to do and, and, and where it goes next if in fact it is continuing to rotate. And Sean mentioned this too with a with a storm all on its own we may see it um, produce a tornado and then perhaps move into an environment that doesn't quite support that. So it lifts back up, still rotating up uh, above the surface and then may produce a, a tornado again down the road. Uh, so far, I guess, good news, Sean, that we don't have any reports of any damage. Uh, yeah, we'll see what they're doing. The rotation to me looks like it's, it's broadening a bit, so not as tight. I hope that trend uh, continues and yeah if you guys are just tuning in uh, so this is uh, from Aaron up in uh, southeast Carroll County uh, this is what the, the tornado looked like call it a land spout it's it, tornado it's still a tornado <laughs> so uh, it is a rapid rotating column of air there you can see it uh, off to the left of the, the grain bins um, out in open field so far and um, yeah kind of an east southeast movement I mentioned it, the rotation is not as, at as tight, so I'm just going to take the radar back in time here. Um, and near Delphi is where we were getting some of the first reports there um, of this thing possibly being on the ground. We certainly knew there was, there was rotation, and so there you have it. Uh, that was uh, just before 6 o'clock. You see the red and green couplet you know, kind of right next to each other, spacing out just a little bit. Um, drifting toward Carrollton. We'll see if we get a new, uh, a new warning out of it. Um, 
if this trend continues, I suspect they'll they'll probably allow this tornado warning to um, to expire. But still going to have to watch it as it's uh, it's it's a it's it's a longer front, so that means it has some wind shear to play with. But it is definitely the only game in town right now. Although we are noticing there a few showers, and we we mentioned during our newscast anywhere in our viewing area was fair game for a thunderstorm. A lot of a lot of locations are not going to have a drop of rain this evening, but uh, as we're as we're noticing, it just takes one <laughs> to um, to certainly. Uh, you know, cause a warning, and that's what we're seeing with this particular cell that's on its way toward Carrollton. And, and really, that was the case um, most of the weekend. We didn't have all day rain, all day storms, but we ended up with several warnings, um, both Saturday, Saturday night, and um, again last night. So we're still in that somewhat unsettled environment, supporting that risk for some severe storms. And it's a storm that we've been watching for almost an hour and a half now. Developed in White County, has made its way into Carroll County. We want to make sure you're aware Howard County. It looks to be kind of drifting in your direction, and we have just enough of the ingredients in play for severe storms that rotate and have that potential to produce tornadoes. Do want to give you a closer view of live Doppler 13 radar of the storm that we're watching and we've got a well, a little bit of rain developing just north of downtown, so we'll take a closer look at that in, in just a second. But I want to get you caught up on the severe storm, the tornado warning that goes until 630. Flora, you're now in the clear in terms of this cell as it's moving now east to that State Road 29 area and the Carrollton area. So that State Road 29 runs north uh, south. Deer Creek, you're not in the severe, but you're definitely getting some rain, definitely getting some lightning. It's south of you, the Sharon, Carrollton, Young America, Poplar Grove, Burlington area, and perhaps down the road, Kappa Corner, Judson, uh, Ridgeway, just a couple of the smaller areas and towns that are as we come out of um, Carroll County and head into portions of a western Howard County that's going to be just to the west of um, Galveston and just to the northwest of Kokomo. So there's the storm itself. Sean pointed out the, the velocities didn't look quite as tight. So we have this like broad rotation that sometimes indicates uh, it's still rotating up above the surface, but not quite tight enough, not quite strong enough to work its way down to the surface to produce a tornado that would then perhaps uh, lead to some damage. So right now we're not getting any reports of damage out of this area, but we continue to watch closely the storm that is east of Flora basically getting ready to cross State Road 29, and it's going to be in between uh, Deer Creek and Burlington near the town of Carrollton. Now on this path, and I'm going to slide it back just a bit to the west, and we'll do a track uh, as it makes its way east-southeast at 20. I'm going to basically do the, the leading edge of the rotation just to kind of give you a heads up on where we expect it to go. As it moves off to the east-southeast at about 20, Carrollton, really right now,